All right, we are just putting the finishing touches on my creative winter wreath. A big thanks to James. Don't run oh, away, sorry. come on back here. <laughs> you, James, you helped me a lot with this, but yeah, it was great. It was super simple. I'm definitely not an artist, so this is definitely something that all levels can take part in. Uh, I've chosen to leave a little bit of the wreath showing. Explain to us uh, about people's preferences when it comes yeah. to that. Uh, I've noticed personally just running this workshop a couple times that, uh, like I said off the top, there's two basically ways to do it, but I find that the preference for this actually falls right along age lines, mm. and so I, I find that our more uh, mm, uh, senior, shall we say, yeah. wreath makers uh, tend to go for a more classical style that's uh, kind of like this the whole way around, mm. whereas some of our younger wreath makers tend to like a little bit more of a, maybe an edgy isn't a word for it, but uh, <laughs> uh, leaving some of the actual wreath cane itself uh, open basically on the wreath so that you can see it through the... Well, the grapevine is just so beautiful, right? Yeah, like... yeah, the grapevine is, is quite lovely, especially when it's wound up. Um, we've gone as locally sourced as we can with a lot of our materials. For instance, right here in town, these pine cones came off a pine tree right there on Spadina, just going awesome. up the Saskatchewan River. So that's really uh, local. Some of the scotch pine is really, really local. It's from the trees I pruned up out front just this morning because <laughs> yeah. I have a little low on material, so I got some scotch pine. I love that. So, yeah, some of the other materials have come in from a little bit away, but there can be locally sourced. The one item that uh, you'll find is a little bit of a, a stranger to the Saskatchewan environment is this little holly. Right. Uh, these we had to bring in from BC, and the reason being for that is that holly is just not uh, hardy enough. The climate can be a little harsh for their growth. With holly, one interesting little thing is I have two pig sprigs here. Holly is really interesting in the plant world in that it actually has sexes. It has male and female plants, uh, not just flowers, but male and female plants. And so this one is actually a female. She bears the uh, the nice red berries that are so attractive in the wintertime. And this is actually a male. He only produced flowers and the flowers died. And so kind of an interesting little horticultural uh Fact. Fact, yeah, is yeah. that you do get material that's a little bit different kind of thing. So, I mean, even looking at the pine here, right in front, we have a white pine, which is a very nice, smooth needle. If you felt it, it would almost feel like fur, like just, it's very smooth. Yes. Where we have, contrast that with the scotch pine, which is very bulky and actually very sharp to the touch, if you were to touch it. Uh, and so wreath making is a lot about just adding the different colors and textures to your wreath to give a nice, uh, basically a visual appearance, like you've done here, different three-dimensional textures, different colors, and putting them together and basically uh, the materials can be as diverse as you feel like putting in there. The last workshop we had, uh, we had some little crab apples we were using as decoration Aww. and some yeah. hawthorn fruit, which are really small, very brightly colored fruit. Yeah. So uh, like a lot of things, nature can really be your inspiration for this. If you see it in the, in the natural world, you, you can add it in. It's, it's not a problem. That's amazing. Well, I want to say a big thank you to you. Thank you so much for showing me a little bit about this and oh my gosh. I honestly wish you could smell this right now. This smells awesome, and I cannot wait to hang this on my door at home. Check out the Glen at Crossmount.ca for all the information on the many different programs they have here. And uh, I'm going to keep working on this a little bit, and uh, we'll see you right after the break. <laughs> 